Okay, thank you very much. Um, so, my name's Dr. Simone Cuff, and I study the immune system, which is really super interesting. And I usually use a, use a lot of maths and stats to study it. This little guy farts a lot more than any of my cells at work. He is our bearded dragon, and he is the next animal on the list. The uh, scientific name for his genus is Pagona. And does he fart? Oh God, yes, he, he farts. Uh, bearded dragons make up the genus Pagona, a group of lizards that hail from central Australia and want to get back into the vivariums. They are highly territorial, warding off competitors by puffing out their beard. A flap of, of skin. Oop, come here, come back. There we go, show everyone your beard. There we go. Underneath their chin, which they inflate to show aggression. This is found in both sexes. They are a popular pet, most commonly the central bearded dragon, Pagona viticeps. Bearded dragons sometimes fart audibly, usually accompanied by defecation, and this behaviour is particularly noticeable when they're submerged in water. Many pet owners have reported that the variums, the tank where the pet reptiles are kept, smell particularly bad after a bout of bearded dragon flatulence. In the wild, these animals have an incredibly varied diet, consuming small lizards, insects, mammals, fruit and flowers. They have a mild venom which they use to subdue larger prey, however it's not harmful to humans. In captivity, they're generally fed on a variety of fruit and vegetables, supplemented by insects. And it's been reported by some owners that butternut squash is a recipe for particularly pungent farts. Hold on there mate. Ah.